Okay, another time we will be saluting. Any questions? Nope. No questions? Okay, good. Perfect. Safety protocols with it easy. Okay, skipping that, you all. Uh, Depends on where you are, you'll call different things. Out east, I was told it was also known as a pistol. Charlie finally got into it, so now they're playing really good. Delta's been doing really good chance. Elite sports, right? Yes, elite sports, Charlie, Delta, Bravo, Echo. What are we doing? We're doing volleyball. And why? We're doing volleyball and softball and soccer, the three main components to the competition that we're doing for elite sports. And the end result will be? The pennant! Da -da -da. Training continues daily. Captain Thor Toms is busy teaching the finer points of the compass while the band holds their first ever Highland Games and music competition. So, DCO, what do you think, Major Johnson? Oh, aye, it was a great day for Scotland and the Johnson clan. Yeah. Okay, where you go? Well, man, let's do it, let's do it. We're doing a couple of things here today. We're doing an orienteering competition behind us here uh, with uh, one of the CL platoons. They're going to be running through. They've got 20 minutes to complete uh, a 19-point competition. So it's it's a real it's a it's a route choosing competition. They aren't going to have time to actually complete it within that get all the points within that 20 minutes. So they're going to have to choose their routes to see which best score they can come up with. Uh, nobody's actually come up with a perfect score yet out of all the platoons that have gone through. So. We're looking to see someone actually get a perfect score. What do they get out of uh, doing this kind of work? Well, there's a couple of things. I mean, there's the physical aspect of it, um, which is, you know, going through the bush, moving, you know, doing the physical activity portion of it. But the more important part is the actual thinking behind orienteering. It's, you know, it's called cunning running. It's, it's, it's a sport where you have to think, you have to choose your route, which is the best way I can go, how, how do I get to where I'm going to go, you know, what's that kind of thing. So they ha there's a lot of thought involved in it. You didn't get the right person for the snow. <laughs> Later in the evening, Captain Jamie Bigger makes a one night stop at the training center to perform his amazing tricks. We have a summer biathlon for uh, two of the CL companies. They're uh, running and shooting together t today. What do they get out of uh, summer biathlon? What does it give them? Well, it gives them an opportunity to experience what the winter biathlon is like as well, as uh, some exercise and uh, just working as a team together. Two, three. Three section! Okay, tell me all about it. Why are you so ready? What is it about it? Well, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it because I like doing winter biathlon as well. and. Uh, Last time I did it, it was a lot of fun. I did come in last in my age group, but anyways, I did last year and it was a lot of fun. We didn't do too bad, and uh, I'm hoping we do better this year. And your scenario is you're at the Epsil site, and there might be two patients there. Okay, one minute and count. At the armories, Captain Marie Anderson and Captain Diane Blaine supervise the battalion first aid competition. The simulated wounds are graphic and remarkably realistic. All the better to prepare when the real thing happens. Okay. Oh, my leg! Can I help you? Yeah. My leg! My name's Kevin oh. That's the bandage. Okay. Where am I? Hey, are you breathing normally? Where's come my wife? Come out, some of you. Arm up the center of your chest. Like this. That's it. Okay, don't worry. 
To test the training and ability of adventure course cadets, they participate in the Ironman competition, which includes a two-day 30-kilometer canoe trip on the Shuswap River, 25-kilometer one-day mountain bike trek through the backcountry between Mabel Lake and Sugar Lake, and a backpacking trek of either 11 or an additional 12 kilometers, whichever the cadets feel they can accomplish. Guard company. The guard. What's your summer been like this year? It was awesome. I get to meet new friends. We get to do the Buddhist Wa, one of my favorites. I like to doing it. You're looking forward to grad parade in that way, aren't you? Oh yeah. And why is that? Well, first of all, we're gonna show off everyone else how we, we do our drill. It's so gonna be amazing. Feu de joie, big thing? Oh yes. Try and get it perfect. Nearing the end of camp, the Army Cadet Fitness Test is undertaken by oh, everyone job, again, troop. often with impressive results. Stage. Stage. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Well done. Good job, Schauberger. Good job, good bud. Good job. Yeah, yeah, I got a good job, troop. Call. Good job, guys. You did good. Again, Afro sick. Good job, good. troops. You all did really well. I did. So, how'd that feel? Uh, quite tiring, sir. You went all the way to eight, did you? Yes, sir. What'd you do at the beginning of summer? Uh, <laughs> Six, I believe, sir. So you, you, you increased it, did you? Yes, sir. What is it doing for the ACFTC? What do you think? Uh, increasing physical fitness to, uh, well, for the betterment of all the cadets to, to try to teach them the importance of physical fitness. With a five-row magazine load! 70 kilometers east of the training center is Heckman Creek Range used for the past two years as the large bore range. Here the CLI cadets are given the opportunity for familiarization C7 shoot. Range 100! Range 100, stop your action. Release it, let go forward by itself. Go, go Fire! 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 Oh, yeah. Fire! Okay, that's not a bad group size right there. Okay, that's kind of what we want. Whenever the inside here, okay, that's where there's the highest possible scoring area. That's where you get the 10 points, right? In the entire circle? Or just the circle? In the entire circle, right? Oh. That's just for an aiming point for you guys when you're starting off. Okay, so you're sitting right here. Where do you think she has to aim off to? Up here. Just come show me on the target. Watch your breathing. Okay, you're actually going to put it right about here, okay? Your front uh, blade sight there? Okay. Right there. That's exactly where I want you to aim. On stage, Lord. Not bad grouping. What did you think? Not bad for my first time. So, Kit Barsley. How was it? Oh, it was a blast. Second year CLI, so I didn't didn't do it last year. I missed it, but it was lots of fun this year. I was excited. And how's that? Oh, it was, it was awesome. The the first shot is so scary. Like, oh, I I jumped, but after I fired my first shot, it was started to calm down a little. Nerves went down. It was lots of fun. How was it? Incredible. I I was actually the first one to shoot off on the sighting shot. And the just the noise initially scared the hell out of me. But it was fun. Yeah. Do it again? Exactly. I'm doing it, actually supposed to do it again when I get to ba back to my home car, hopefully. Company once again. If only there could be compensation and more famous. 